morning guys welcome back to today's channel as you do and the do as always please give us a thumbs up give us a like drop a comment down below tell us what you didn't what you think about it anyway i have come to my fave shop b q again to buy some more cladding for betty too yay just been to b q so i'm going to carry on with the cladding and i might build the framework to come just behind the passenger seat for like an extra seat or storage because I have loads of storage I'm also going to be putting a cupboard across the top there as well as obviously doing that cupboard at some point and there will be another cupboard up there above the bed so it's going to be like a little caravan really loads of storage a little shower cubicle and toilet let's crack on just to get the right size of cladding, I'm just putting a piece up against the next piece I did. I'm drawing the line. Simple as that. I'm also drilling a hole in each end of the cladding, bigger than the screw, so I'm not splitting the wood as I'm screwing it to the battens. Top tip. Out of one piece of 1.8 metres, I think it is, I've got four, four, uh, four bits of cladding, which is good. Got to do a tricky bit now, but the good news is they must be straight because the gaps are the same all the way down. Were they pleased about that? Especially the transit man. <laughs> and that's the front done. So I'm going to continue round the other side. But I need to go and get some more screws from my starting hardware because of rank. Yeah, impressed with that. Never cladded a van before. But then again, I've, I've done bench seating in the kitchen, so I know what I'm doing where that's concerned. But obviously, cladding a van wall is completely different. Oh, I think I've done okay. Yep, loving my curves. I still love that carpeted panel. It's just an ace. I did say I was going to put a piece of plyboard in there, but I've got loads of cladding, so I'm just going to... Glad it straight across to separate the storage from the batteries. I'm going to clad across here as well. And that's the inside of the box done. Like I said, the back's going to be done by a uh, ply panel, and this side's going to be done by a ply panel. I'm just going to clad that side now, and that's the box basically much done. I had to do a bit of jiggery pork around this button down here for getting this first piece of cladding in just chiselled out a bit of the baton on the floor but it's in so I'll continue with the rest of it now only a couple more pieces but I'm one last piece to put in so I've just scribed that now I'll cut it and screw it in and that's the box done that's the way it looks like behind the driver's seat quite impressed with that it's gonna look something like that the thick cushion on that'll be nice and comfy that i'll get the right size plywood though that's just a scrap sheet that looking good look at me i'm sitting on the bench seating <laughs> in my socks and crocs or even a crocs and socks storage cupboards bathroom around the other side is my favorite bit my carpeted panel with all my electrics on. Happy days. That's it for today's episode of Betty uh, 2's build. Please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, drop a comment down below, tell us what you think. Overall, keep doing what you do.